Hello, I'm making this to uh, show you how to put vehicles into a Halo map for Halo 1 mods uh, that don't belong there. Like if you wanted a uh, Warthog in Battle Creek or uh, a Ghost in Longest or something, here's how you could do that. Okay, first go ahead and open up your uh, map in HHT or HMT. Either one should work, I think. So let me wait for HMT to open. Okay, then just go to File Open. And I'll open up, uh, like I said, I will open up um, Beaver Creek Battle, which is, that's just what it's called in the game. It's actually called Battle Creek in the game. But whatever. Okay, uh, then go down to the Vehicle tag. And then let's just do this as an example with a ghost click on the ghost and then uh, then up towards the top there's a little uh, thing that there's three boxes there's that here here's what these look like in HMT in case you're using that uh, here's what they look like they should do the same thing okay so then here's HHT here's what those boxes look like in here uh, on. Okay, then go down to vehicles. Okay, here we go. See, here's the little tags. Okay, uh, what you want the first one to say is for step number one is you want it to say uh, S C E N. I have to find it. I think it's an alphabet. Yeah, there it is. S C E N for scenery. And then you want the next one to say object for object and then uh, go all the way down and click on the and click on the four little Y's for uh, which is just like nothing there and then just click uh, save changes okay now I'll go ahead and go to spark edit I think you can do that in either HMT or HHT that first part then open cache file, then go to uh, beavercreek.map. <sighs> then uh, I'm just going to set that really quick. And just go into the map, then click on a, on a scenery item, any scenery item, it doesn't matter, because we just converted that vehicle to scenery, but it still works as a vehicle. And then just click, uh, then just copy that. I'll just drag it somewhere where it's in view. Okay, then, uh, then go to tools, import, tag into scenario, then go to scenery. And then if you notice, the thing that you just changed should be, uh, right here as an unregistered tag. And just click OK. Then just, uh, when you have the thing you copied or any piece of scenery, uh, selected, just go to, go to swap and go to the drop down box. And, uh, your thing sh should be in there, but I don't see it in here. Did I, did I not import that? Hmm, that's weird. It might just be called the wrong thing. Wait, let me see here. That's weird. That shouldn't happen. It's not under vehicles, no. It's imported, so there it is. Uh, I think it just had to refresh or something. Just click out of scenery and then click back in. I haven't done this in a little while. Then you can just click ghost, and there's your ghost. You can move it around just like any piece of scenery. Only, uh, it'll still work as a vehicle in game. So, uh, if you just go up, you can still like click action and get into it and drive it around and stuff on the map. And as long as another person has your has your uh, your your map, if you like send it to them through Xfire file thing or whatever, then they they can see the vehicle too. Anyway, that's pr that's all you need to do to do it. It's really easy. 
that's there's another you can also just like swap the little numbers in HMT but doing that it won't show up in spark edit so uh, it's really better to do it that this way plus that way uh, that way you have to take you have to like completely get rid of a piece of scenery or like a weapon or something but this way you, you didn't need to get rid of anything because I just copied that piece of scenery and then went over it so this way is really the better way to do it and you can see it in spark edit so it's pretty good anyway that's it